Now for this part of the question, we're told that we now remove this force F3 that kept the particle P in equilibrium. So if we remove this, then what happens is that this particle is now going to want to move, want to move somewhere out in this direction under a resultant force R. And we've got to find the magnitude then of that resultant force R. Now that resultant force R is in fact going to be the vector that goes from here, we start from doing F1, just down to here, follow it with F2, it will be from here to here. It will be this vector here that is called R. And to get R, what we could do is just simply add F1 and F2 together. So I'm going to start by saying that R then equals F1 plus the force F2. And if we add those two together, we've got 12i and minus 9j plus 6j gives us minus 3j. In fact, these, or this vector is the opposite of F3. If you think about it, it had to be because we removed F3, the vector that kept it in equilibrium. All that's happened is that the direction has reversed. Remember we had P was minus 12, it's now 12, and Q was 3, it's now minus 3. So we could have just reversed F3 to get that resultant R. But either way, there you go. That's what R is. Now we've got to find the magnitude of R. And to find the magnitude of R, we could just think of it then as this vector. We'll just draw it down here. Maybe enlarge it a bit. Okay, But there's our vector R. And what we've got then is that it's a vector that is 12 units in this direction, in the I direction, and minus 3j means that it's 3 units down. So we've got a right angle triangle, this is 12 units, this is 3 units, we've got to get the magnitude, the length if you like of that. We can do it by using Pythagoras' theorem. The magnitude of R is often written as the value in two lines like this, okay? So the magnitude of R is the square root then of 12 squared plus 3 squared. And if you work that out, what you get is the square root of 153. And you could break that down into thirds. That's the same as 9 times 17, which you could square root 9 and get 3. Can't square root 17, so you just leave it as 3 root 17. You might not want to go for that form. You might want to work it out as decimal. If you do, it's 12.369 and so on. And you could round it to any degree of accuracy, suitable degree of accuracy, should we say. I'll go for one decimal place or the equivalent of three significant figures. It'll be 12.4 newtons to one decimal place, one dp. You can have any one of these values, okay, I'm sure they'll give you a mark for it. But uh, there you go, that's how you find the magnitude of that resultant vector R.